gathered together here from 37 different towns in the county of Worcester. We have come here to the Shire town of Worcester to shut down the county courthouse and to demand that no court officials take up their duties under this unconstitutional Massachusetts Government Act. The crisis... Huzzah! The crisis in this province of Massachusetts Bay brings us to this crucial moment. In response to the destruction of the tea in Boston Harbor, the Royal Parliament in London chose not just to punish those few responsible, but rather the entire colony. They passed four acts that they call coercive acts. But we know them for what they are, the intolerable acts.
while we fell short of declaring independence, we suggested it was time to form a new and independent government. When the actual fighting started at Lexington and Concord, the people of Worcester County were ready because the transfer of political and military power had really already occurred here in Worcester seven months before. The National Regents Proclamation, whereas on September 6, 1774, 4,622 militiamen from 37 townships in Worcester County closed the royal ports by forcing all court officials to reject British authority and refuse to enforce what they call the unconstitutional acts of parliament. And whereas General Thomas Gage, the military governor, had promised to send troops to protect the courts, but backed down on his council's advice in the face of Worcester County's strength and determination. And whereas he effectively ended British rule throughout all mainland, contiguous Massachusetts outside of Boston. And whereas this was over seven months before Gage tried to reassert his authority by marching on Lexington and Concord. Whereas, following the court closure in Worcester on October 4th, 1774, the town meeting of Worcester declared it was time to establish a new form of government wherein all officers should be dependent on the suffrages of the people. Whatever unfavorable constructions our enemies may put upon such procedure. The first call by a public body for a new and independent government in America, exactly 21 months before Congress's Declaration of Independence on July 4, 1776. Whereas, representatives of the American Antiquarian Society, Timothy Bigot, Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution, Massachusetts Society of the Sons of the American Revolution, Preservation Worcester, Worcester Historical Museum, Old Sturbridge Village, and other members of the Worcester Revolution of 1774 projects seek to memorialize this historic accomplishment. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Joseph M. Petty, will hereby proclaim September 7, 2014 as Worcester Revolution 1774 Day in the city of Worcester. And